Good evening everyone, this is Luther P40. I was just uh, going to go over uh, quickly, or hopefully quickly. Well, you know me, I can't do anything quickly. Uh, <clears throat> I'm trying to go over explaining how to calibrate your uh, your uh, Yahoo uh, HHO flow meter. Uh, and basically, what I've come to discover is that each one of these measuring devices have their own opinion as to what 100 milliliters is, which means you gotta have you gotta have something you can trust to know what your measurements are, which means basically these are good enough for cooking, but they're not good enough for measuring hydrogen gas. Uh, yeah, that was that was my mistake. I learned that the hard way. But as it turns out, <coughs> I had one that I was able to actually calculate to verify that it was measuring correctly because it's a perfectly perfect perfect cylinder well it's perfect as you know man man can make one but it's a it's a perfect cylinder and it has the increments going all the way up from uh, from zero all the way up to uh, 400 and looks like uh, 440 milliliters at the top end and I can use this one to actually use math to calculate if this if this scale is correct. And I come to conclude from from you know measuring the volume, you know measuring the diameter of the opening, and then calculating what the volume needed to be between uh, two points on the scale. I come to believe that this this is probably the most accurate of the most <coughs> the most accurate of the measuring cups that I've got available to me. So as it turns out, uh, I'm, I'm using, uh, I'm not actually using this one to, to, to uh, calculate or to uh, set the marks on my scale. I use the same formula, I use the same formula of, of calculating the, the uh, volume of a cylinder to decide where my marks go. And then what I ended up doing is I compared, compared my marks against this measuring cup right here. So I'm 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 pretty comfortable that it's that it's pretty dang I'm accurate. I mean I I believe I could use this one to tell you that one of these cups are wrong. <laughs> but uh, basically what I did uh, the diameter the inside diameter of the tube is one in, one inch and twenty one thirty seconds. Uh, it's uh, calculated out to be uh, one point six five six two five inches converts to millimeters is 42.4 diameter uh, radius is 21.2 uh, area of, of the plane in the tube is unless I've gotten my decimal points in the wrong place is 1411.957402 square millimeters and then I just use that as my uh, that value right there as my uh, constant to calculate how much the distance needed to be for each one of these. So 100, there's a uh, 100 millimeter mark, 100 millimeter mark, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, so on, all the way straight down. My column for millimeters, uh, column for inches, and this is a fractional inches. Uh, all these dimensions, this dimension right here, or either one of these two dimensions right here, is all measured from zero from your zero point and zero is calculated when this is all the way down and you make a mark at the top of your at the top of your outside exterior tube and that's going to be zero uh, and everything measures off it yet so what I would suggest you do is I mean if your if your tube is different diameter than this you can't use the data that I collected here <clears throat> You'll have to do your own math to figure it out. But everything measures off of here and is cross-checked with the distance shown for the uh, inches. So this two points, uh, I'm sorry, this two uh, two inches and 25, 30 seconds right here, this dimension right here, that was after I did the dimensions from here, from zero to 100, zero to 200, zero to 300, zero to 400, zero to 500. 0 to 600, 0 to 700, and so on. Then I double, I came back and double checked to make sure that I had 2 and 25, 30 seconds 
between from here to here, 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 and so on. And it's basically confirming that I that I did my math correct, because uh, these marks are all going to be the same thing. I mean, you could just as easily have taken this this mark right here and started at zero and just gone up two and twenty five thirty seconds all the way up. But uh, once you're happy with your marks, in other words, when you when you put your, you have your zero, you you make a little small little mark where each where you, where you intend the the, uh, the measurement to be. And when you're happy that you've got those small marks where you want them, then what you would do is you would, the way I did it, I don't know if I can do this while I'm handy. Okay. The way I did it is I would bring that mark that I liked to the top of the cell right here, or top of the, top of the uh, outside tube, and I would take my, my, uh, took my magic marker and marked it all the way around to, to continue the mark all the way around the circumference of the of the uh, tube and I did that for each one of those marks and after I had that mark in mar when, I, when I had those lines in place that's when I went ahead and added the uh, the measurements like 0, 100, 200, 300 and so on now you could go to the you could go and add more marks in between but uh, this was uh, yeah, I've been messing with this. <laughs> I've been messing with this thing for about an hour and a half, two hours, trying to get it just where I was happy with it. So, I mean, part of it was I had to figure out how I needed to measure it, and it all started. It all came back to that the, you can't trust these measuring cups, which meant I had to come up with another way to figure out how to mark my tube. I mean, you can't trust them. They're not. I mean, I could take the I could I could take 800, uh, 800 milliliters out of this and pour it in this one over here, and it would be read read different. So it's like I couldn't trust any of them. And like I said, this one right here, this one right here, I could trust. And the only reason why I trusted it is because I calculated it out. I measured it out. I said, "Well, for, well, give me, show me where the mark's supposed to be for 400 milliliters." milliliters uh, using math and it came up on the mark where it said 400 milliliters so I said well I'm thinking that's pretty dang accurate well more so than anything else I got in here so alright I'm just uh, uh, I don't know if I've just a couple of little modifications I had to add some silicone to the top of this uh, this this cap wasn't really intended to uh, to hold back gas and the other thing I did here is I replaced that tape that I had you saw in the other videos. Now I've got one that's perfectly flat. But what I have here is I have a smaller piece on the inside. I can't pull it out, but I have one on the inside that seals up the inside of the opening, and then another one on the outside, and the two pieces of tape are stuck to each other to help hold them in place so that moisture won't get underneath it and, t and the, have the tape release. But uh I believe I'm calibrated now, finally. I, you know, it's one of these things that I thought this was going to be the easiest part of the whole thing. It turned out to be the most difficult part because I wanted it to be accurate. So, I hope they find this information useful. And uh, if I miss something or if I, uh, if I uh, misled you in some way, just give me a shout and I'll see if I can correct the correct the information and and make it right. Anyways, this is Luther P40 uh, signing off. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch my videos. Uh, take care.